It's a beautiful day in the city of Lagos. This is Community Feedback on Lagos Television. Welcome to the program. My name is Kikelomo Odiebo. Thank you for joining us on the program. The year 2023 will be a good year for Lagos residents, not just because it is a year that the general election is taking place, but because the Lagos State Red Line Mass Transit will be delivered to the public. And it's the first phase. It will be moving over 500,000 passengers from one point of the city to another. The Blue Rail would also be delivered to the people. Wow. You are wondering, how would that happen? Let's take this report from our correspondents. Go ahead, go ahead with the final launch of the TV. Go ahead, we are watching, thank you. The Lagos Rail Mass Transit, LRMT, Red Line Project will start passenger operations by first quarter of 2023. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu gave the assurance during a fourth extensive inspection tour of the ongoing construction activities around the Lagos Rail Mass Transit, LRMT Red Line Project. The Red Line, which is one of the seven rail lines identified in the state's strategic transport master plan, will share tracks with the Nigerian Railway Corporation on its Lagos Sibadon Rail Corridor, in line with the administration's vision for a greater Lagos in reducing traffic congestion and improving transportation system within the state and its neighboring communities. The first phase of the 37-kilometer Red Line Rail project is the 24-kilometer starting from Alagbado Station to Oingbo Station. The nine stations of the Red Line Rail starting from the Agbado Station would go through the Iju Station, Agege Station, Ikeja Iconic Terminal, Oshodi Station, Mushin Station, Yaba, Ibutemeta Junction, terminating at Oingbo Station. The Red Line Rail project is having three pedestrian bridges at the Oingbo Station, Ilupeju Bypass and Ikeja Station. Similarly, also at the Mushin Station, you have a bridge a bridge that crosses from Kayode, the Unipan site, the Ikorudu Road site of, um, of, um, of, of the bridge, onto the Ogumokun site, you know, in, um, in Mushi. There were a few challenges in that area. There are one or two schools that we need to re re relocate, and there's a massive, massive, you know, um, regeneration that we plan for that whole place. You could see that on the rail track, there are several demolitions that are taking place. Government has paid extensive amount, far and over beyond what anybody could have expected on that entire that's why we don't have any problem at all governor sanwolu said that through the red line rail system over 500,000 passengers would be transported daily when it becomes operational in the first quarter of 2023 we are currently with the support of mr governor richard fitting the train stations at Maltu, alaba igamu and national theater in readiness for passenger operation in the first quarter of 2023. The governor added that a lot of works are ongoing to fence areas around the rail corridors for the security purposes, just as the state government has paid compensations to property owners affected by the construction of the rail project. Meanwhile, the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, has also assured that through the provisions of CCTV cameras at the rail platforms, for boarding passengers, adequate security will be guaranteed, while residents of areas hosting the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line Project have also been told that government would continue to put adequate security measures in place to safeguard lives and property. Expectedly, experts believe that the state government's investment in the rail project would further boost the economy of the state, improve government revenue, as well as businesses of communities within the rail corridors. The Red Line Rail Project was conceived by the administration of Governor Babajide Sonwolu, while the Blue Line Rail Project, scheduled to commence passenger operations by the last quarter of 2022, was conceived during the Governor Babatunde Fashala's administration.
what we're doing is to ensure that the physical infrastructure right, are completed by December later. All stations, all bridges, all walkways, all um, pedestrian bridges by December, so that they can start testing. By January, we'll start carrying passengers from January, test passengers. You know, operationally, we should start doing that first quarter next year. And those were the promise that we gave to negotiations before the end of our administration. We will have passenger movement on the red line. Just behind me, you will notice that workers are working steadily to ensure that this uh, red line rail project of Lagos State is delivered to the people of Lagos State come the first quarter of 2023. And this red line mass transit will be moving from Agbado Station in Ogun State. It will run through Agege to Ikega Iconic Station to Oshodi. From Oshodi, it will move to Yaba. No, it will first pass uh, Mushi to from Mushi to Yaba. And then it keeps going until it gets to Onyibo. We have been talking to Lagos residents on their expectations and here are their views. What Lamata is doing, Lagos State, about the runway and transport. Like what they did here now is a very good project, very good terminal from the Lagos people and for the masses to use. One, Lagos State have good tension for people to work. They have good mind for people, for me and you, to see what is going on in Lagos State. The runway is very good and the BRT is very good. Like now, if you enter, if you come to here now to enter BRT or runway, you can stop here. From here, you can walk into the runway. Or if you can come from runway, you come down to enter BRT. So Lamata did very things easy for people to do. They do the BRT very simple to walk. They do the, BRT, the runway very easy for me and you to walk. So it's good to bring new system Lagos State. So I pray Lagos people to see the good thing Lamata Lagos State is doing. I would say the project, the railway project that Lagos State government is doing is a really good idea. It's to be a um, faster means of transportation for we the citizens and um, I've never tried um, a train before but I would love to try it. It would be um, a very fast way for me to get to school and work and everything at the same time and for advice, maintenance advice, I would say the citizens should be able to take care of the, um, the rail well, they should make proper use of it. The rail line in Lagos State is a very welcome development. It's very peaceful and, and it's very good, nice, smooth running. It's not like the olden days one that is very noisy that, well, uh, this one is very comfortable in terms of the journey. Like the edifice, the edifice you are seeing here is the biggest one in Lagos State capital, which is Ikeja here. The structure you are seeing here, first floor, second floor, and the third floor have different facility. Like the down floor car park and mug, mall, then the middle ticketing, then the third one you have um, lodging there. Why the middle will take you from here? What do you need to do? Maybe you want to buy your ticket and you want to buy your flight ticket as well. You don't need to go into airport before you buy your ticket. You can buy your ticket here as well. Then it will lead you straight to airport. So all what you have in terms of transportation, you have it in this place, in this very building. So on its way, if the train is coming from maybe um, Abadu, uh, Abekuta, Ibado, there's what we call interchanging at Fashola train station at uh, Agege. That's where we have a interchanging. So the one that is coming from uh, the one that is coming from Agege, which is coming from Abekuta and Ibado, that's where they will do interchanging. They now take either you are to going to Oyibo or you are to follow this one to Muritala area. So in that process now, the building you have here, the structure you have here, you just need just like what you have in Abirabi and uh, what do you call this place, um, Dubai. As you are sitting in in the in the lodge there train will just come and meet you there. You will be seeing them in the glass. You will just come and enter. That is when you have already purchased your, your ticket. 
Then the building you are seeing, they are going to cover the rail line. So you will not see sun. So you've just seen, the, after you purchase a ticket, you just a step, you are already inside the train, all like as we have it in Abroad. That is the structure you are seeing. Then comprising, you can see the, another uh, time, the terminal here, this one is comprising the BRUT, comprising together with what you have in the train. Exactly everything, transportation, is comprising complete in this building. That's what we have in Lagos. It's a welcome development. So, and at least, well, I know that something good is not cheap. It's very expensive, the structure. And at the same time, the infrastructure is the wonderful one in Nigeria as well. I pray other states will copy from what we have in Lagos. The work they are doing there, pertaining the railway there and their new construction, in fact, I really appreciate the Lagos State government for their well doing. And I still pray that God will continue to help them to continue and uh, finish the job. So I see that the work they are doing there is a, is a nice job. It's a nice job. The fact that I have for Lagos State is that if the train now start the work, does not let the the uh, transport fear too much for the the passenger, so that to be able to to be easy for people to enter from maybe Joko anywhere their destination still, so that there is not allowed the price to too much more than our priority. In the terminal and the iconic. Ikeja rail station is a symbiotic relationship for passengers who may want to either try the BLT using the road or they may want to go through the rail using the tracks. Whatever the experience is, Lagosians will surely have the best of both mode of transportation system. That's our package today. Thank you so very much for being a part of it. Stay safe and see you next time. We like you. This is Lagos. You know we love you. This is Lagos. You know we love you.